Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you five more Halloween props that you can make at home. These are props that I built myself uh, for the Haunted Trail that I used to own, so hope you guys stick around. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, so here's our first prop, our uh, alien that is in a, in a capsule or a tube, and uh, this one came out awesome, I was really happy about that. So really all this is, is a wooden base, and we've got some plexiglass right here. I'll kind of go through everything, but the only thing I really bought for this is the alien that uh, I think I may have gotten for 30 bucks or something like that. Besides that, I built everything else. So. If we come in here real close, you can see down in here that I have some rounded wood and a lot of this is all wood. So we have our base of wood. I made a little bit of a half circle piece and that's what this plexiglass, which is what this is right here, is attached to. In here it looks like a kind of a frosted glass. This is just really white spray paint. I sprayed on the inside of this before I, uh, I en encapsulated it. Down here is covers for lights in, in the ceiling. Usually you'll see them in businesses, incandescent lights. But that's all this is right here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, like the alien. So what you'll see here is this is kind of framed out in this black material. The only thing that this is is a foam border and I think it was for uh, either a garage or window. I can't exactly remember. It's been so long since I built this but uh, you can see that it's very soft uh, but it's just used to kind of hide all the screws that he put in to mount the plexiglass as well as this uh, plastic lighting cover. Inside the lighting co cover is just a green bulb, one on the top one on the bottom. Inside you'll see I have three circles that allow that light to come up onto the alien. The same for up here, three circles that allow that light to come down. The lighting allows you to create movement even when there isn't any, so that's pretty cool. Inside, you're gonna see we've got tubing on both sides. That's just vacuum cleaner hose that somebody had thrown away. I grabbed that and I did a light silver dry brush technique on it to make it look a little bit more sci-fi. Now we're gonna turn this thing around. And here's where you see the bases. So I can reach in here, change the light bulb if it blows, but otherwise my wiring is in there, wiring at the bottom, but you can see it's just a wooden framework. So anybody could do this. And that's it for the alien. So let's get on to the next prop. All right, our next prop that Jake's gonna be helping me introduce is our radiation symbol right here. Yeah, exactly. And I was really happy about this. I uh, ended up putting this hanging inside of our concession stand and I'll show you exactly what this is, and you can definitely make this on your own. This is nothing more than that pink styrofoam. I believe this is the two inch. I pulled this out of uh, some garbage uh, that the local high school was throwing away whenever they did the prop scenes and things like that. So I got this for totally for free. And if you've never worked with pink styrofoam or blue styrofoam, there's so much that you can do with this stuff. So what I did was I made a little template and I routed out all of this area right in here. You'll need yourself a router just like this and you'll need some routing bits 
just like that. And that'll allow you to kind of cut in all of this area and drop this down so it gives you that three-dimensional look. Now this kind of almost rock look here, I did all of that with an angle grinder. Just kind of coming in here with this motion, just like that. Same with the edges. That, I just kind of gave it a nice little waving motion as I went around. In order to paint this, I started off with a very dark gray, and then I took a sponge and made a little bit lighter gray, and then finally a much lighter gray to give it that highlight look. But I've made signs with this, uh, pink styrofoam and obviously uh, it's awesome to work with so if you've never used pink styrofoam or blue styrofoam and you like making props you're gonna start. Now also what I did with this is uh, besides the orange paint right here I added some cracks and I just took a small little Dremel tool and Dremeled this out but I added a glow-in-the-dark uh, with a black light paint inside of each of the cracks. So inside my concession stand I had this kind of set back but I had black lights on it so it allowed these cracks to kind of glow that neon color so it made it look a little bit more um, toxic. <laughs> All right, so here's our next prop, and I'm not going to totally go over this because I actually do have a whole video just on how to make this, and I'm going to make sure I leave that in the description below. So make sure you take a look at that video. It shows everything of how this is put together. But what this is is I have some Promap gas tank. This goes into some tubing, which wraps around follow some more tubing, brings it around, and then brings it into these two bottles. Then the bottle is open here. They're just connected in the middle, just like that. And it allows a fireball to go all the way through and pop out the end. And as you could hear, it makes a loud bang. So whenever you're doing this, you're gonna hold your gas for a few seconds and then click it just like that and you keep continuing to hold that to push that ball all the way through to the end right so you get a pretty awesome uh, pop and it looks really awesome especially in the dark so make sure you guys take a look at that video but this is kind of known as a plasma gun pretty basic but it looks really really cool so there you go Alright, so here's our pig, and uh, this prop is almost totally uh, handmade, but first thing I will show you is the head is a purchased prop, and the rest of it is just kind of built off of that. So we've got some uh, fake eyes in there and everything, so it looks pretty cool, but if we take a good look at him, guess what he is covered in? It's actually that great stuff spray foam and it's been kind of cut off a little bit. So how this prop was made was some chicken wire taken from the head and just kind of 
mold it into the body, and then spray foam. You can really see it inside. Was used to cover him totally. The rest of it just with that angle grinder kind of grinding in to the great stuff to give it that look that he's uh, got some ribs. Otherwise, it gives a nice easy weight for uh, to hang him. Now what I did with this prop is I put a big barrel underneath him and I ran a pump up to the inside and put red food coloring in him so it looked like he was draining blood and it had a really cool effect and I had red lighting underneath the water to uh, kind of show up and it just uh, it really gave a cool effect. There you have it, something you can totally make on your own with a few cans of great stuff and a pig head. Not too bad. So here is a lantern that I created and nowadays you can buy ones that look just like this uh, in stores, but if you want to do it yourself, this is kind of how I did it. I uh, got some of these old lanterns at a, uh, like a tractor supply or a Walmart or what have you for pretty cheap, and I uh, just converted uh, them into electric. So here's what I did. I took a drill, drilled right through here, and I ran the wiring down and through right here. So we'll go ahead and take this apart and I'll kind of show you what I did here. So I really just kind of took this all apart. and I ran that wire underneath and I took some hot glue and put in the little light bulb holder here and had that wired in there and then put some hot glue around that to hold it in place and then painted that silver just to match. Get one of these bulbs and I'll make sure I leave a, a link in the description below so you can find some of these and some cool ones. And that's it. That is really all I did for this whole project. Besides that, the glass itself, on one side, I sprayed a small mist of uh, some silverish type of paint, or you could use a white paint. And on the top, I sprayed in just a slight mist of black paint and it gives it that cool look, just like that. But there you have it. Besides the cool prop for Halloween, which I've used these outdoors and had no issues, um, we thought we'd use them inside the house for a nice little uh, holiday season type of decoration. So let's take a look at that real quick. So guys, that's it for the video. Please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget about the links below. And I appreciate you guys watching. Till next time.
Happy haunting.